Where could he be? I'm assuming to the left, but it's just a guess. Truck driver gets out. Gunfight. 1v1 situation. Lisa Ann versus the truck. Train coming into play in the final circle. Lisa, there's a train behind you. Lisa, Lisa, the train. Lisa, what are you doing? Oh my God. Never in my life. I thought I'd get to spectate a game ending like that in a 1v1 situation. Absolutely. Hey yo, what up YouTube? It's Reedboy, and I'm back with a new episode of Spectating Solo 0.5 KD COD Gods. For those of you that are new here, we drop into a game of solos on my third account that has a 0.47 KD, and we die right away. We go to the gulag, and just to spice things up a little bit, since all these gameplays were recorded live on stream, I try and win it without killing my opponent, using stuns, whatever, just capture the flag, just to add a little bit of embarrassment to them. Then, we spend the rest of the game sitting back, relax, and breaking down the gameplay and custom loadouts of some of the most unique creatures in the Warzone universe. Some really funny moments happen along the way, so please enjoy the video. We're playing Burger Gunfight, who's gonna win? Oh, it gets smoked from the back. Oh, this is the best part. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, yo, are we friends? Are we friends? Oh, yo, yo, get his dumb ass. Oh, I got smoked, RIP. <laughs> Dude, I don't really know what the fuck just happened. I don't know. I don't know what that was, to be honest, but I like it. I liked it. If I just wouldn't have died, bro, if I if I just wouldn't have died, I guarantee we would have both smoked that kid, teabagged, and then I would have let him assassinate me. I would have, like, fucking dropped my gun and turned my back, hoping he assassinated me. That shit would have been hilarious, bro. That was comedy. I cannot believe it, bro. 0.5 KD Legends, bro. They're so friendly. Alright. We are one for one on the day, boys. For those of you that do not know, the goal is to win the gulag without shooting a bullet. Or not without shooting a bullet, without killing the opponent. We can shoot. The goal is you don't want to kill him. Basically need to capture the flag or by some chance get them to blow themselves up. It'll be an interesting one. Let's see what we're rocking with here. QBZ. QBZ ain't too bad. We're going to try and flank him. Mm, this guy's got a CDL skin. There were some mad shoulders out here. Oh, respectful. Ah, damn it. Nukes in the clan tag. Not surprising this individual is in a .5 KD lobby. Cannot pretend to be surprised. You got two different kinds of people rocking nukes with a three in the clan tag. Either absolute gods or straight dog shit. Obviously that's jokes, by the way. Okay, don't don't um, don't anybody get so butt hurt. Ah, oh, he's gonna land. He's gonna try to land on this guy. He's gonna try to land on a rose skin in super and attempt to shoot him. What a fucking idiot! Honestly, what a. It might be one of the dumbest plays I think I've ever seen. Might be one of the dumbest plays I think I've ever seen. And somehow we ended up over here at Stadium. Not too sure how we ended up away from Super, but I'll take it. I don't really want to spectate no Superstore animals. I'd rather watch ta watch the uh, Stadium Gods, if you will. Let's see what we're rocking without a Z main doe. Two kills already. Uh oh, he's got a riot shield on his back. I fucking love the plays, baby. Let's see what he does. Let's see how he works. It got a sniper in front of him. How are they gonna play this? Thing, just throwing some shots. Is he trying to armor up? Oh, he's gonna swap weapon to the LMG. The drop shot! The drop shot! Oh my god, that was a very bad play, but somehow he turned it around with the drop shot in the end. It started off pretty fucking stupid. Honestly, that would have worked on me. You guys do not know, when you drop shot with a riot shield, that shit covers 90% of you. You gotta shoot straight headshots. Very respectable play out of the main though. I love to see it. I love to see it. This guy right here cracked out of his fucking mind. You see this movement right here? You see this movement right now? He's twisted. Guaranteed. 
love the play of not swapping over to the red dot. Who fucking needs it, bro? Yes, sir. I love how long it takes him to bust out the LMG. I absolutely love it. Decided to drop the riot shield now for a ground FFAR. This guy's cracked, honestly. It might be on like six lines of G fuel right now. He really thinks somebody is up there. He really expects somebody to be up there. He's got a bounty on him now. Three minutes. Let's see if he gets hunted down by a straight savage. Gonna get parachuted on. I think this is the guy he already killed. Misses the roof. That's kind of embarrassing. This should be a free kill. Should be a free kill for Maine. Hit some easy shots. RIPC still pretty stupid play to try and land back right where you just got smoked. I would not have done that if I was you. Always a stupid play. If you die somewhere, your loot's not safe. Pretty st oh, here's the guy hunting him. Let's see what happens. Oh, some nice shots out of Z. Out of Z. Nice shots. Doesn't appear to be a rose skin hunting him. It's going to see. This be interesting how this works out. Get some more shots off. Gonna hold the head glitch. He's not going to go push. Free lick. RIP DQPX. Got to be one of the ugliest names I've ever seen. Oh, another kid in front of him. He saw him. There's another sniper to his right, too. Gonna bust out the thermal LMG. I, I got a feeling that the kid that was hunting him had a loadout. There are a lot of bogeys nearby Z Main though. Gonna go with the smart decision, just hide in between the air conditioning units. Not let himself be seen. A lot of passion out of this guy. Awful lot of passion. Gotta wonder how many kids I've been driving in a vehicle that just play like this as soon as they see a vehicle. Decide to drop that bag of cash. Wow. Alrighty then. Alright, P to Z main dope. We are on to Modmon CJ. This guy has a loadout. I'm still really confused on to why Z Main Doe decided to drop all of his money in the storm before he proceeded to get straight hork slammed. Spit on, if you will. Very questionable plays out of him. Very interesting to say the very least least. Cash is in, it's safe in the storm. It is there. See, oh, a lot of patience out of Chris Kyle right here. Hits a shot. One for one for two. One for three. Gonna decide to streak it for essentially no reason. Pretty sure those tents provide cover if I'm if I'm not wrong. Yeah, those those tents provide cover, buddy. That was a pretty wasted streak if you ask me. Let's see what he does from here. He's got about two places he can be. There you go. Is he going to hit the shot? All right, he's two for four. Oh, and he gets the headshot. R.I.P. Sanic Snow Daway. I don't know what the fuck that means, but all right. Break his ankles, please. Wow. You got to question what would have happened if he would not have shot that man's big toe off. You got to question what would have happened right there. Because that was a very, very questionable play out of Modmon.
very, very questionable. Friendly recon inbound. The, the um, parachuting down on the guy you just down isn't necessarily a bad play. But having your sniper in hand, not the smartest. Continuing to have your sniper in hand and trying to shoot the guy that's one shot, not very, very stupid if you ask me. But it ended up working out in his favor. Now he's going to third party the fire station with loadouts on top. Popping his daddy a little prematurely if you ask me. Gonna have to create the door. Maybe not. Not gonna have to create the door. I don't know if he saw the red dot on the same floor as him, but it's running away. Going going away from him. I don't know why he's climbing the ladder. Not too sure why he daddy climbed the ladder. Yeah, and then busted open the fucking glass. Like, de defeated the whole purpose of popping daddy. Anybody nearby knows he's there. I don't even think there's anybody nearby anymore. Pretty sure he's gone. Yeah, he, go he gone, bud. Yeah, he, he was running away while you took 45 seconds to climb the ladder. You got a question, bro. You got a question if uh, Z, Z main though. Got a question if he even won his gulag. If he didn't, that money is gone for it. Dunzo. Nobody's going to know it's there. Oh, we are dropping frames, boys. I see the nice, good old-fashioned red square on my OBS. Shout out to Comcast. If anybody does not know, Comcast is possibly the worst possible internet provider when it comes to stability and uh, customer service. They are pretty fucking useless, let me tell you. So for everybody who is staring at a buffering screen right now, I, I apologize, man. I, I, there's n I have no idea what to do to fix it. Absolutely no idea. We seem to be back. Just one gigantic lag spike for essentially no reason at all whatsoever. Who fucking knows why? Shout out to Comcast, like I said. Let's see if he decides to take the zip up. Does? Nah, oh, is he gonna... He gets stuck. All right, P. Modmon. I thought thought he was gonna put Lisa Ann in the blender. Some shaky shots. Some really questionable shots out of Lisa Ann. Honestly, cannot wait to spectate Lisa Ann right here and see what we're rocking with. Got a pretty decent looking FFAR. Wonder what the secondary could be. Har. All right. Nice wombo combo. Default reticle. Got to respect it. Nothing wrong with it. Not my personal preference, but there's nothing really wrong with it. You know. Scanning the horizons of downtown. We're in a top 30 situation here. Mm -hmm. Awful lot of circle left. Gonna get a hit marker. I was not expecting that. I apologize. Gonna get a hit marker on somebody. Top, um... Alright, quick quick question in the chat. What do you guys call this building? Let's call this building right here. The guy, the building where you just hit marker the guy? What do you guys call it? Because I know there's a lot of different call-outs for what it could be called. What do you guys call that one? Ooh. Oh, Lisa Ann does not have a self revive to work with. Gotta be, gotta be careful on the challenges. He, she, they, them, it goes for. Gotta be careful. One just high enough headshot is gonna end the game for Lisa. So you gotta, you gotta be careful. Continues to peek, knowing that there's a sniper over there. Oval? I never in my life heard somebody call that bitch oval. I've heard SK. I've heard that from Shaded. That was the first time I heard it called SK. Pretty sure it says SK on it, so that one makes sense. Glass, that one also makes sense. That's not where he's at, Lisa. There you go. Yeah, right there. This is a very questionable sniper fight right here. Seems to be two pretty, pretty healthy burgers, if you ask me. Top glass, that one's valid. See, I know this building as top nine. I've called it that since the ground war days. Skyscraper also works because it is, I believe, the tallest building in downtown. Could be wrong on that. I think it's the tallest building on downtown. So skyscraper works. <laughs> Elite knows. That's why I call it top nine. Because for those of you that do not know, it is pretty it is smoking halfway down. It is smoking.
I would love to see one of these two hit a shot. Because these, none of their shots look anywhere close, bro. If this guy hits this snipe, he's clipping it, posting it to Reddit, posting it on Snapchat. It's going to be the wildest snipe that he's ever hit in his fucking life. He's going to jump off. Is Lisa going to jump? I'm nope, going to go back for another challenge. See you later, Lisa Ann. Udge score. Going to put an end to the game. Got to question the decision out of Lisa to continue trying to hit that snipe. Very questionable play calls. Udge score with the Pellington. Absolutely hideous looking Pellington. Gonna take home the dub. Three kills in the third circle. Again, one kill for every circle seems to be pretty standard if you ask me. I wonder what his secondary could be. I wonder what secondary weapon Udge score could be rocking here. ACOG Pellington, bro. This shit looks hideous. And I guarantee it sucks, too. Bro, 30, this shit is fucking comedy. I love doing this. I actually look forward to every single Friday. Because this shit is so much fun. Every Friday here at twitch.tv slash reboy. Get quality solo spectating content like this. He's rocking an FFAR. Pretty decent looking build. Got a questionable grip on it. Wonder what grip he could be rocking, but nevertheless, it's still... Got a suppressor at least, so he's not that fucking stupid. Storm is on his ass. He seems to be scouting every inch of downtown before he jumps. Just wants to make sure he's not going to get shot in the back. Looks like he's going to make it over to the next building pretty safely. Top, again, 17 situation. Pretty healthy circle. With 17 people to still be alive. Would like to see Udge score hit a buy station. Maybe get a UAV with the amount of money he's got. He's rocking two stuns. He is ready to piss somebody off by fucking double stunning them. He's ready to get almost world starred by Reed Boy on Twitch and then throw a stun and get the luckiest free kill of his life. He's fucking ready for it. <laughs> What's up, Russian? How are you, bro? How are you doing, Chief? Can you make this jump? You can. Interesting. Interesting. I think I knew that, but I didn't actually know it. Gonna breach and clear this building. Looking like a SWAT team. Checking every single corner that he can. Busting open the doors. Is that a guy across the street? Right in front of him? Gas grenaded. Throw your stuns. Throw your stuns. He's about to get meleeed. R.I.P. Sanic knows the way. Gotta question the play calls. He didn't even have a melee gun. He had two regular weapons to use. I don't know why he didn't shoot. Pretty, pretty questionable decision out of Sanic. Not surprised that he ended up dropping. Not surprised that that did not work out in his favor. Not too sure what he was thinking. Am I playing in the Warzone scrims training tomorrow? I wasn't planning on it. Oh, I gotta sneeze, bro. I wasn't planning on it. I don't have a team. Nobody hit me up. I wasn't really trying to make a team of my own. Plus, ah, uh, sweaty scrims. I don't know, quad sweaty scrims sounds, a free entry especially, bro, sounds like the best possible situation. And them doing this more often, them doing this more often is going to be good. Because right now, it's like custom tourneys and custom events for money are so rare and so scarce. Let's see, we got 15 bogeys left. How many can we see? Oh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 out of the 15 remaining. We got four ghosted bogeys that he's got to be careful for. And they're going to be 250 meters or less away from him. For those of you that do not know, ghost only works up to 250 meters while a UAV goes out 300 meters. Very interesting little fun fact for those of you guys that did not know that. You can see a lot of dots disappeared. A lot of people, as he gets closer, are falling off the mini map. What is he? What kind of streak is this right here? Doesn't he does not give a fuck? He is satisfied with his UAV. Uh, let's see. He just heard a metal door close. He's gonna continue to stop up these stairs, trying to loot for ammo that he really just does not need. I wonder if he's aware that somebody is above him and can hear him stomping up these stairs. I don't know if he knows. He is YYing like a young crackhead. Here we go. Gonna bust open the door. 
turn the corner into a little rabbit pre-aiming him. You absolutely hate to see it out of Adspur. What an interesting way to go about playing that. Quite, quite unfortunate. Adspur rocking the ground MP5. Very questionable decision because that gun is horrendous. You already know this guy's got Ghost. He grabbed his own AUG with Ghost. Dropped his secondary for the ground loot MP5. Honestly makes me want to throw up. That people actually do that shit. We shall see though. We shall see. I actually don't like Guinness, bro. I'm actually very much not a fan of Guinness. Holy shit, would you look at that, bro? My man hit three of the luckiest shots of his fucking life and managed to break armor. Just further proof that this gun is made for kids that can't fucking shoot straight. Holy shit, this guy sucks. But he has somehow made it into the top ten with seven kills. What's up, birdie boy? How you doing, broski? No, 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 I, like, I've had Guinness before. I've tried it. I am genuinely not a fan. Like, I don't like the way it tastes. I do not like the way it tastes. It's got a strong flavor. To it kind of, it, to me, when I tasted it for the first time, I thought it tasted like coffee. Oh, he's gonna get shot in the side from very close. Rocking the 1-2 sensitivity. Decides not to armor up. Just gonna sit in the corner. Not crouch walking. They, now he decides to armor up while he's moving. Questionable plays as he walks into high roller in the bathroom with the rose skin. You, you gotta question the confidence out of young high roller. Gonna break armor by shooting somebody in the side from three feet away and then not chase him. Gonna decide instead to curl up in the bathroom and piss yourself with the rose skin. So horrified, if you ask me, not only is he sitting in a puddle of his own piss, he's got piss running down his legs. I think he somehow managed to get some piss on his shirt, bro. Pretty impressive with how scared this man is. He's gonna torch his entire gas mask in a top six situation before he sits down. Lisa Ann coming back in the top five situation. Let's go, baby. We are glad to have her back, putting an end to High Roller's game. Here we go. Let's go. Lisa Ann has amounted 10 kills. Rocking the AUG for far setup like his favorite streamer. Two trucks to work with. He's got a big ass heal. Two thermites. You got a clown horn honking next to you, buddy. What is going on with these two trucks? A fucking toss. What a throw. Mark Tru Mitchell Trubisky, bro. Honestly, got to question it. Going to get a free kill on this rose skin. Nice bunny hops, Mudbone. Maybe if you could hit your shots, it would be a little bit more impressive. Well, uh, one of the trucks is gone. Cluster strike. Mere feet away from Lisa Ann. Top four. Top four. One of the truck drivers got out. Got back in. Circle is closing. Top three situation. One bogey is in the truck. One bogey is unaccounted for. Where could it be? I'm assuming to the left, but it's just a guess. Truck driver gets out. Gunfight. 1v1 situation. Lisa Ann versus the truck. Train coming into play in the final circle. Lisa, there's a train behind you, Lisa! Lisa, the train! Lisa, what are you doing? Oh my god. Never in my life where I thought I'd get to spectate a game ending like that in a 1v1 situation. Absolutely no shot. The train? Just ran over the 1v1. Oh my god, bro. That is mind blowing. That is absolutely mind blowing. How unaware you can be of your surroundings, bro. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Shout out to Trash Tortoise. Okay. Talking to his mom, it sounds like in the background. Trap Money Benny, baby. Thank you for subscribing to twitch.tv slash reboy for five months. And welcome back to the Stench Squad, where showers are optional. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Get some stinky, smelly sub hype in the chat for that one, boys. Wow. what That might honestly take the crown the best moment that we've watched while spectating solos. That might be the most impressive thing I've managed to see.